It's that time of the day. Where I take a hand and I decide what I'm wearing with the luck of a draw. Sweatpants and green shirt. What a combo. Squatty Cup amigos and good morning from a beautiful day in Bangkok. For the next 12 days, I'm going to be daily vlogging our adventures through this beautiful, beautiful country of Thailand. Right now, we're on our way to a breakfast spot that we heard is amazing. It's just around the corner. If there's one thing you should know, it's that taxi drivers generally don't want to take the meter. The meter is very affordable. A 15 minute drive was literally $1.50. I just paid 57. Most taxi drivers try to ask for 150, 200, but this guy didn't even negotiate. He just put on the meter, so it's always appreciated. So My budget is in peril after seeing the prices today, which is not good. This is one of the most popular breakfast spots. They actually have multiple locations across Bangkok. Let's see if it lives up to the hype. It's not like your typical breakfast omelet. It tastes a lot like Thai cooking. It's really good. This one is uh, sauerkraut, pastrami, and uh, homemade bagels. Wow. So excited. So Andrea was just sharing with me a solution to an age-old problem. You travel with multiple people, you don't always want to split the bill. A lot of times you just have someone pay and then you know, I'll get the next one, I'll get the next one. But what happens is you eventually on a long trip forget completely who got the next one. Like add a description, add how much it is, you can change the currency. And then you say like who paid it, like for example, like when maybe like you paid for something, so I add it. And so this is an app called Splitwise where you can basically have a ongoing tracker that shares all the expenses of the trip. I've got some bad news. That bill was $14. I'm spending $25 today on my bed. I have $11 left for the day. Best meal yet, that and the mango sticky rice. For sure, I agree. We're not having lunch or dinner anymore, so. <laughs> One of the coolest things about Bangkok is that so much of the life happens right here on the side of the road. And then we are walking our way to go get a taxi. Hello, MBK. Meter. Thank you. All right, that's good news for us. We have a meter. Oh, it feels so good to be in this city. There's just so much life to it. No way. I'm rebooking our hotel and now it's even cheaper. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay, thank you. Taxi here was 70 baht, which is like $2. So this is one of the most unusual malls. Basically imagine a street vendor, but then having an entire mall filled with them. Knockoff shoes, you got your denim, blowy pants. Ah, shit. <laughs> here we go again. <laughs> Gonna see the deals. It's also very famous that you can find like Chanel or Hermes purses. And what they have on the front display is the low quality stuff. If you get to know the owners, the shop owners, they actually open up back doors and they'll take you to like the super high end knockoff. That it could be like a thousand dollars for like a basically identical to an Hermes purse. That's only what I've heard. I've actually never experienced it. For real though, they have some su super nice stuff. I might do some shopping here today. We'll see. Then again, I've only got $11 left to my name, so. How MBK works is the higher you go up into this monster, the cheaper and cheaper the things get. So like downstairs is kind of like the closest to like the high-end stores. And then as you start to venture, you start to get the speakers that when you turn them on, it goes pairing, Bluetooth mode. Just to give you an idea, there's floor one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven. Seven floors full of junk. And some good stuff, a lot of good stuff too. But it's uh, you'll start to see some patterns. Basically everyone sells mostly the same thing. Yeah, I want something more things. All right, Ruby had a really good idea. Let's see what $10 can get us here at MGK. So this is gonna be carved out of the budget. We're not counting this, but I wanna see who can get the best most ridiculous thing with ten dollars. We like We're splitting up. Oh no no no! And here it is, the holy grail: tie pants. I feel like this is discrimination. Different I, price. Yeah. I hear where you're coming from. Like, here's the thing. I put on a little bit of weight. I think charging me more because I'm just getting a little bit thick okay, right so now is, is just a little bit inconsiderate. What if what if we call it 199? 
I look really good in it, right? What's your best price? Best price. One hundred ninety-nine fixed price. Can you do one eighty? If I buy it. I'll tell you what, you drive a hard bargain. We have a deal. Thank you. I'm a local now. Once you go to floor four, this is where things get real. <laughs> Ryan just said something so true. He's like, every floor has a different smell. This has a very strange smell to it, like burnt plastic or something. I don't know. <laughs> all right, I'm not gonna lie. There is a day coming where we are all going to be screwed when this is a camera. All of these are spy cameras and that freaks the crap out of me because pretty much everywhere I go, I stay in hotels. So when I see cameras getting smaller and smaller, I'm like, there's gonna come a day when one of my tapes gets leaked. On the bright side, your videos will also be leaked, so I guess we're in it together. I've never felt so popular. Every shop you walk past, you're getting catcalled. They're like, oh, come in, can I help you? Can I show you what you need? What are you looking for? Or I'm like, bro, if I knew that answer, I wouldn't be an MBK. I am searching for everything and anything. Okay. What's your favorite product in this store? It's really good. It's original. 18 bucks for this. That's pretty cool. Lovely summer. Yeah, man. I'll take it. So one of my biggest tips to travelers is to have a sub bag. Basically something that's very low profile, small, that can fit inside of your main bag. Because when we're out traveling, obviously we don't want to carry around our big backpacks. So you can shove this one inside, barely take up any space from your backpack. And uh, this one here was only $20, $20 roughly. Hey up guys! Can you guys guess what I, uh, what I chose? Out yeah. Of hands. <laughs> is that all you got? What do you mean is that all I got? I got an egg sweater. <laughs> I got this hat because I don't have a cute girly hat for the beach. And this sweater. Is that all that, all that was $10? Yeah. Oh my god, guys, every time I try to hold a meetup here, you guys always leak the location. It's unbelievable. <laughs> guys, I made it. Guys, you're looking at the wrong people. That's not Lost LeBlanc. Do you, do you want to take a photo? <laughs> 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 He's not even verified on Instagram. I'm verified. <laughs> All right, it's time to drown my sorrows in alcohol. We're going to a sky bar. I got my new bag. I'm not gonna count that towards today's 50, otherwise things will be really bad for me. So to get to where we're going next, it's $1 by Metro. I should probably be trying new places, but hey, this is trying to revisit some of my old memories. And actually this is a sky bar that I used to come to probably the most of any of them. I really love it. So Don't this is gonna save us 15 minutes. If we had taken a taxi, it'd be almost twice the length. Here's a pro tip for you. Don't come to a sky bar when it's about to rain. And it's about to rain. mission failure today. They won't let us go to the top of the sky bar, so we're being rained out today. But I still got to have an amazing view. The 45th floor, looking over Sukhumvit. Sukhumvit is this crazy, crazy artery that connects the whole city with the metro station. And you can see how this thing just runs all the way down into the city. So tonight we've come here to Octave Sky Bar and we're actually meeting a fellow content creator. Chloe's actually from Burma or Myanmar. She was telling us that next time we're in this area, we're gonna have to plan a trip out to Burma, which I am so down for. It's just an incredible destination. So, so different than most other places in the world. For um, fitness programs and everything related to fitness, I'm here for you. <laughs> Cheers. And I've now officially 
Eliminated all my money for today. That's not working out. I had a work day today that I didn't really think was worth filming, but I made some massive progress on the 10 day creator challenge, which is a program I'm launching in just two more days. You're somebody that's been dreaming up becoming a creator, but you don't know where to start. Well, I will show you how to do it for $47, and I guarantee you, you will get 10,000 views within your first 10 videos or money back. So tonight we are getting a traditional Thai massage and I'm excited because this is a different kind of massage. Which can also be dangerous in Thailand, but uh... <laughs> Andrea, yeah? since everyone's like kind of considering dating you, should you show the feet? Oh my god, Christian! I have no words for this. Stop! <laughs> so as Ruby said, today we're doing a Thai massage and the first time I ever got one of these, I literally felt like I was in a car accident. Like the next day, I was so destroyed. Everything was painful and sore. So I have not done one like since then. I don't know what I'm doing. All right, so this is different. I'm getting dressed into these red robes. Am I supposed to remove my boxers? I don't even know. So what's that? What's up, ladies? How we doing? <laughs> we loose or we limber yet? I can't believe we're having a massage together all in one room. One way to describe a Thai massage, it's like a massage of a thousand daggers. A lot of elbow action directly into your muscle groups, like your neck, your back, your thighs. He massaged me with his heel by basically like sitting on the ground and digging it into me, into like the bottom of my leg. And then to like finish it all off, he stood on me and like walked around my back, my legs. Honestly, it's like a really nice full body stretch. I was manhandled. Completely. I'm being punched, I'm being punched, I'm being stretched. I had legs on me like this. I was like, what is going on right now? Like, did you like it though? I did, I did. In yeah. a weird way. Wow. Oh my gosh. This place looks so good. Let's try it. I mean, it's more money than I have anymore, but this is where the magic happens, guys. They've got all this delicious food on display. You can see here, they work a lot with egg noodles, which is delicious. We got prawns and pork wonton. The dish that I've now ordered is in total about $1.60, maybe $1.75. It smells good, it looks good. This place looks like they've got some history too. And you just know it's gonna be good when you got photos like that on the wall. I mean, come on. That's like a proud mom right there. Just like, come on in, son. I've made you some food. Oh my God, is it Thank ready? You. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. This was like literally a minute later. Oh my God, this looks so good. Very, very simple. Really good. How is it? That was a missing ingredient, I think. The broth. I think it is. Oh, now we're talking. Yeah. Now we're talking, yeah. So different. Sweat. Good. That's so nice. He bought this for us. It's so yeah. sweet. So it's a sweet drink. It's a sweet drink, yeah. Oh. Welcome to Thailand. Thank, Thank you. you so much. That's very kind of you. Thank you. Wow. Yeah. Oh, my new favorite tea. I'm gonna buy it now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> tea it now. It's a part of my tea collection. It's a plant. Wow. It's like sweet chamomile. That's good. Wonderful. Take care, man. Yeah. That's really cool. He was just seeing how stoked we were on the food and how much fun we were having and he felt the need to share a bit of his culture with us. Look, inevitably it's gonna be some sort of a food video at this point, but mango sticky rice, that's the spot we went to the other day. And right next to it, we're gonna try this out. I think I want uh, milk tea, this one here. So the Thai flavor palette, they love spice and they love sugar, sugar. even more. So you have to kind of go minimal on the sugar or the sweetening. Even the can of Coke, like it's 120 calories in Canada, 110. It's 160 calories here because it's all made up by the sugar difference. This place is called Moma's. And that right there is 70 cents. Bye guys. Bye. Hello. Hi. Yes. Yes. Can I? you Hello. How can I help you? Hello. Where are you going? I'm going to Chong Non Si. Chong Non Si. Uh, soy, soy, what soy? What soy? Chong Non Si. So where we're going right now is we're going to my old residency where I used to live and the reason we're doing that is because from there I can find one of my favorite street food places. Uh, I hope I remember how to get around but right now I'm having this little take back moment where I remember every time I would go home from university if I had to take a taxi they would ask me where I'm going and I'd be like 
Shapung, 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 Shapung. And then they'd be like, huh? And then it'd be like, Shapung. And then after going back and forth for like 10 times, they'd be like, oh, Shapung. And I was like, yes, that's what I tried to say. I literally couldn't hear the difference. And then every time, I'd say every third or fourth time I'd say it, they would look at me like, oh, very dangerous, very dangerous. So wherever we lived, I think was dangerous. But anyways, nothing ever went wrong. There it is. This is Memory Central right here. Nonsi Residence, where I lived for like four months when I first became an adult, I'd say. It's when I first had independence, at least. So many memories. I'm so curious if the restaurant is still in here. This is where I would eat food pretty much every day, at least one meal. It's all gone. The restaurant's gone. What? Change sucks. I'm gonna be taking them to one of my favorite street food spots. Now if that has closed, then I'm flying home. I'm going back to Bali. This isn't good. I don't really remember exactly where it was, but from my memory, I think we should have seen it by now. This is my last hope. If it's not right up here, it's all torn down and gone. I'm having an existential crisis right now. <laughs> oh my God, I think I see it. It's still there, thank God. This is a, a hidden gem, like truly, truly one of the local spots, and it's still here. Yes, woo -hoo -hoo. All right, let's go. It's pretty much the exact same thing we had before. Oh we are literally in the Are you sure? Thing. Yeah. Wow, look at that cauldron though. This is the other thing you have to try. Chicken uh, with rice and the cucumber, this one here. The portions aren't that big, so I would always go to this place and next door to it, and I'd get one of each, the chicken and the egg noodle pork. Oh yeah, that's the good stuff. This looks yummy. I'm yeah. excited to try some authentic street food that mm -hmm. you used to have when you were a little baby. Yeah, I know I was. really cool. Literally. That is a portion though. I can't with all this food right now. Thank you. This stuff is so good. It's like a spice sauce. It's just like I remember. Commit to the sauce. Mm. Right? And you ate this every day? Every day. I'm shocked. I saw this and I, I was like, it's really simple. Like, why are you freaking out about this? The sauces make yeah. it all so good. Yeah. When you get the dollar fifty rice and chicken, it comes with this broth. Oh. I went over fifty dollars today, but don't at me. Ah shit! Here we go again. Fun of the day.